gotta wait for the jet to pass. Hey everyone, I'm Mr. J, and I am so excited to be back with you today in my second episode. But before we get started, I have something I have to confess to you guys. You see, I messed up today, and I made a bad choice. I was driving my car, and somebody cut me off, and I honked my horn, and I yelled at them. <gasps> Go ahead, take a moment to be shocked and surprised. I'll wait. That's an awful lot of shocked and surprised. All right, all right, all right. So I don't really know why this person cut me off. I mean, it could have been a lot of different reasons. Maybe, maybe they didn't see me. Maybe they were distracted. Maybe they just got some bad news and it was making them have a bad day. No matter what was going on with them, they probably didn't deserve to have me honk my horn and yell at them. The bottom line is that that just wasn't very nice of me. Now, I know what you're thinking to yourself. You're thinking, Mr. J, why would you come on to your YouTube channel and tell everybody that you messed up and made a mistake? Don't you know people are going to watch this and they're going to know that you make bad choices? Well, yeah, that's exactly the point. We all make bad choices sometimes. Now, I'm going to bet that most of us don't wake up in the morning and go, I think I'll spend the day making bad choices. <laughs> no, of course not. But sometimes it seems like no matter how hard we try, we make bad choices. Why is that? Well, here's the thing. No matter what people might try to get you to believe, not a single one of us is perfect. It doesn't matter what school we go to or, or what town we live in or what kind of clothes we wear or how popular we think we are. We all sometimes make bad choices. Now we're gonna talk more about that later in our Bible lesson about why we do that. But before we do, I think I need to make up for being a Mr. Grumpy Pants in the car earlier. It's time for Riding in Cars with Costumes. Here we go. All right, everyone. It's time for one of my favorite segments of the show, and that's riding in cars with costumes. I think we need to try to make some people laugh, or maybe we need to try to make some people feel groovy as Mr. Disco J. Aw, yeah. Disco J is ready to go have some funky fun. Let's go. All right, here we go. Disco Mr. J is heading out to party. Moving it on. Woo-hoo. Some of you guys might be thinking to yourself, what is Disco? Well, ask your parents. No eye contact. That makes Disco and Mr. J sad. Oh yeah. I'm doing my thing. This person doesn't want to pull up next to Disco J. That also makes Disco J sad. Why is everybody so afraid of people in costumes? Just trying to make the world a happier place. Trying to make the world a groovier place. Aw, oh, yeah. Nobody want to have anything to do with Disco J. So sad. Here we 
go. Those are to brighten my spirits. Can I get started for you? Can I please get a frosty? What size and vanilla or chocolate? Just a regular size vanilla, and can you make it extra groovy, please? Nothing, that'll be good. There you go. You guys have a very funky evening. To another episode of Multiple Choice Manners. I am your host, Colonel Stuffy Pants McSnooty Pie, and today we have an illustrious guest joining Mr. J for a rousing game of checkers. Please welcome Professor Bananas. Now, as you can see, Professor Bananas has handily beat Mr. J at a game of checkers. And since we are talking about choices today, Mr. J has a choice before him now. Will he make a good choice or will he make a bad choice? Here are his options. Mr. J can A, shake Professor Banana's hand and congratulate him on a game well played. He can B, fall on the ground and cry like a baby. He can see, knock all the checkers off the table, and throw a fit. Or he can D, eat the checkers and pretend like nothing ever happened. If you chose B, fall on the ground and cry like a baby. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> You are wrong. If you chose C, knock all the checkers off the table and throw a fit. <laughs> you are wrong. If you chose D, eat the checkers and pretend like nothing ever happened. You are wrong. And not just wrong, that is very, very, very wrong. Mr. J, you should know better than to put checkers in your mouth. That is a choking hazard. Spit those out immediately. Come on, spit them out. Very good. Never, ever, 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 ever put checkers in your mouth. Let's get on with it then. But if you chose A, shake Professor Banana's hand and congratulate him on a well-played game. <sighs> All right, Professor Bananas, good game. You won fair and square, nice job. You are correct. Ah, boys and girls, we are all faced with choices every day and it is up to you as to whether or not you make a good choice or a bad choice. I hope you all make good choices. This is Colonel Stuffy Pants McSnooty Pie saying good day. All right, everyone. So at the beginning of this episode, I talked with you about how I made a bad choice. And then I drove around in my disco costume, which some of you may have also considered to be a bad choice. So why do we sometimes make bad choices? Well, it's because of something called sin. Sin, very simply, is when we disobey God's rules. Now you may wonder where sin came from. If you remember, in our last Bible time, we talked about how God created everything including the very first man and woman, Adam and Eve. 
Now God made Adam and Eve perfect. That means they were without sin. Can you even begin to imagine what that must have been like? To, to live in a perfect world, completely free of sin, completely free of shame, completely free of, of pain, completely free of death. And to spend your days walking and talking with the creator of the universe, seeing him face to face. Man, that sounds pretty nice to me. But God gave Adam and Eve one simple rule. All they had to do was follow one rule. Can you imagine how awesome it would be if you only had one rule to follow in your life? Well, the rule that God gave Adam and Eve was to not eat any fruit from a very specific tree in the Garden of Eden. God said if they ate the fruit of this tree, they would surely die. Well, guess what happened? Adam and Eve made a bad choice. And with that bad choice, right then and right there, sin came into the world and nothing was ever the same for any of us ever again. Now that's where our Bible story ends for today. And you might be thinking, Mr. J, you can't end the Bible story on, on such a bad thing. I mean, that's terrible. But boys and girls, don't worry because there's hope. You see, God's perfect world suddenly became full of sin, but God already had a plan to fix everything. We'll talk about that in a later Bible time. But spoiler alert, John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he sent his only son so that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. the trash is boring. I don't want to do that. <gasps> Ooh, but do you know who makes boring things fun? Everyday Adventure Man. That's who. If we're going to take out the trash, there's a couple of things we're going to have to get past in order to do it. Let's carefully head out with the sacred Frisbee. Shh, we don't want to wake up the howling hound of jumpiness. Here we go. Here we go. Let's look around. Okay, the coast looks clear. We have to watch out for the howling hound of zoominess. Oh no, there she is! Run! <laughs> I did it. I barely escaped with my life from the howling hound of jumpiness, but I have delivered the sacred frisbee to the patio of peril. Man was told this was a patio of peril. Pfft, 
more like a patio of patheticness. I was nothing. I wasn't anything to be afraid of. I'm gonna keep going to the trash can. Oh no! I found the peril! <laughs> now, we have to get down the dark driveway of doom and down the dark driveway of doom. You have to watch out for cicadas and frogs and snakes and cats and squirrels and all sorts of crazy things. And there's only one way to get down the driveway of doom in the dark. You have to run as fast as you can, yelling and screaming at the top of your lungs. Here we go. <laughs> All right, everyone. Every day, Adventure Man has completed another successful adventure, having taken out the trash, having made it past the backyard and the howling hound of jumpiness, having made it past the patio of peril and having made it down the dark driveway of doom. Boys and girls, I hope you all remember to make good choices like obeying your parents and to always turn all of your boring things into an adventure just like Everyday Adventure Man. See you next time. Well everyone, I hope you had a fun time today on our episode. I know I did. Today we talked about choices. We all have the opportunity to make choices every day. Sometimes we're gonna make a good choice and sometimes we're gonna make a bad choice. But the good news is that in spite of the choices that we make, God still loves us no matter what. And he has a plan to rescue us from our sin. I hope you all have an amazingly blessed week. Mr. J, out.